Welcome to 5-Minute Mics with Finlos. Today I'm sharing the Earthworks Icon Pro for its use with vocal applications and recording. It is a small diaphragm cardioid condenser microphone with a narrow pickup field in the front and decent ambient noise rejection, at least as compared to other condenser microphones. Everything you are hearing, except for the comparisons later in the video, are recorded with the Icon Pro through the Rodecaster Pro 2 with no processing. Despite being a condenser, the Icon Pro is marketed as being for professional gaming, podcasting, live streaming, and broadcasting, all situations centered on vocal use. A challenge, however, is that condensers are often more sensitive than dynamic microphones and thus capture more background noise or crosstalk in group settings. Earthworks seems to be claiming that this mic is designed to fight some of those limitations. The Icon Pro retails new for $500 US dollars, but can sometimes be found on sale or for less on the secondhand market. There is a USB version, the Icon, which sells for $350 US dollars. When you purchase this mic, you'll find that its cardboard box doubles as a decent foam line carry case. Even nicer, it ships with a tryout orbit mount, which allows you to adjust its position in pretty much any orientation you need or want. That's a $40 to $50 purchase if bought separately. The Icon Pro, like all of Earthworks products, is built with the absolute highest quality. The body, grill, and capsule shield are all stainless steel and stunning to look at, assuming you like shiny silver things. And even if you prefer a different aesthetic, there's no denying the overall build quality. And assuming no intentional acts of stupidity, this mic will last you for a long time, decades likely. The grill or basket unscrews to reveal the capsule housing, but when everything is assembled, the Icon Pro looks like it could be from an upscale kitchen or a medical facility. The basket itself is decent at rejecting plosives, but it does serve to allow a more complete frequency range, where foam and windscreen sometimes absorb higher frequencies. This microphone has one of the driest signals I have encountered, especially considering its intention as a broadcast style mic. The sound is flat, natural, and clean to a fault. Whatever your voice sounds like, that is exactly what this microphone is going to pick up. Depending on what you think of your voice, or how much you want to EQ your recording in post, this could be great or not. I am always a fan of a microphone that does work for me, but I am also lucky enough to have tried quite a few of them and know the tone I am looking for for my own voice. In that regard, the Icon Pro is almost too clean, to the point of being sterile. But for someone who is doing voiceover work, has a nice interface with processing built in, or enjoys fiddling with settings in post, this is one of the cleanest sounds you are going to find at any price. And because the Icon Pro's transient response, the rate at which it can capture the nuances of your voice, is so fast, it is true to sound. It is also very effective at capturing sound from a further distance than other similarly purposed mics, which will benefit anyone who records on camera. This is a fairly expensive microphone, but for the cost, it's hard to find a piece of equipment that is of a higher quality. It is a beautiful tool and is as exacting in its execution of purpose as it is thoughtfully designed. There are no pads or EQ switches, so it's up to you to produce the sound you are looking for. Here are a few comparisons of other microphones intended for this generic broadcast purpose. First is the Audio-Technica AT2040, a passive supercardioid dynamic microphone. The cruel moon hangs out of reach up above the shadowy beach. Her face is stupid, but her eye is small and sharp and very sly. Nurse says the moon can drive you mad. No, that's a silly story, lad. Next is the SE Dynacaster DCM8, a cardioid dynamic microphone with its dynamite preamp engaged. The cruel moon hangs out of reach up above the shadowy beach. Her face is stupid, but her eye is small and sharp and very sly. Nurse says the moon can drive you mad. No, that's a silly story, lad. Finally is the Loughton Audio LS208, a cardioid large diaphragm condenser which is truly an all-purpose mic, but has been touted as a top-notch podcast and broadcast microphone, and fits that description with its top address orientation and background noise rejection. The cruel moon hangs out of reach, up above the shadowy beach. Her face is stupid, but her eye is small and sharp and very sly. Nurse says the moon can drive you mad. No, that's a silly story, lad. I will include audio samples in the details for this video. You can check out my affiliate links to purchase this mic or any of my gear, but I always recommend trying to find pre-owned equipment first. Check me out with this and all of my other microphones on the Finlose Lives podcast at finloselives.com. I'd love to hear what you thought about the Earthworks Icon Pro or any of the mics featured in this video, so leave a comment below. If you appreciate this content, please be sure to like and subscribe. Be kind to your voice.